we had a vision to begin with children, to help the children who are needy, to help the children who are orphans, to, to help also the pastor's children, because as you saw those pastors, they are from villages, they are serving God faithfully, but they are very poor. One day I sat down with my wife and we started crying to God, asking him what are we going to do so that we can help these children, which we want to help, and to call on with our vision. Then as I was uh, sleeping, the Lord brought a thought into my heart, and he told me that you have to sell your house and bring the money here and build. So I came and shared the, that, that thought with my wife, and I told her, let us pray about this. And we prayed about it, and uh, we got confirmation in our hearts that we should sell our house which we had. For sure the money I got in my house was not enough to push on. It was just a deposit on what was needed. So we didn't know where the rest of the money would come from. So I was praying about uh, taking my family on a spring break trip in March of 2008. And uh, selfishly, I love to travel. I love to visit nice places. And uh, but I just felt like the Lord was saying, you need to go visit this pastor in Uganda. Not knowing uh, where he lived, anything about it. Uh, and so he told me we should go. It was uh, one of those decisions in life where people are like, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> and uh, why are you going? What is your purpose? And uh, I don't even think we really knew when we did go. Um, but we just knew that we uh, had a brother there in Uganda that uh, we loved. But when Dr. Barrett came and his wife, and they saw the work which we were doing, children were sleeping on the ground. We had no beds. We had no even more buildings, enough classrooms for the children. All those were not there. We didn't have water in this place. But when they came, they prayed together with us, and they said, let us believe God that he will keep on providing this good work. You know, I knew my friend had uh, sold his house and sold his car to feed these kids and to take care of these pastors. powerful uh, for me to see that example of uh, you know how we should hold everything we own with an open hand and uh, be ready to release it to the Lord and uh, for his purpose.